New tonight, a man accused of breaking into a Norwood family shed has been indicted for criminal trespassing. Chancellor Wynn's live from Norwood with a closer look at the homeowner's reaction. Chance? Yeah. Trisha, we are live just across the street from the Norwood Police Department because officers inside of this building arrested 37 year old Derek Longmire. Now, according to that arrest report, Longmire admitted to being under the influence of methamphetamine when he was allegedly trespassing into that homeowner's backyard. I didn't take anything of note but my security. On August 23rd, Charlie Hodge says he came home early from work and heard his dog coach barking. And he started going crazy and it was a louder, more aggressive bark than what I'm normally accustomed to. Hodge tells us that he saw 37 year old Derek Longmire jumping a fence into his neighbor's backyard. He sketchily kind of ran to where I couldn't see him and my barn was blocking from my steps up there. Hodge says he noticed the side door of his barn was cracked open and the sliding front doors were barricaded from the inside with a piece of wood. Honestly, this piece of wood was made perfect to lock this up. So, I mean, this piece of wood was, I guess, like this. So that one was like this right here. According to the arrest report, Longmire stated he was under the influence of methamphetamine. This thing was sitting out right here. He could have even, I mean, put that in his hand and attacked me with it or the dog. So luckily the drugs didn't put that thought in his head. Hodge says he and his wife have lived in their Norwood home for less than a year. And he's thankful that on this day he came home before his wife. It was Definitely petrifying. My wife's a lot smaller than I am. My dog is a little bigger and loud, so he I'm sure he would have helped. But yeah, no, it's definitely a lot different knowing, you know, and I'm very thankful that I was here before she was. Norwood police arrested Longmire on August 23rd, and he was indicted by a grand jury on September 8th. It is weird, obviously, knowing that someone else was in your place. But Hodge says he and his wife aren't going anywhere. I still feel safe as long as I got my dog coach. I think I'll be good. Now, according to court documents, Longmire is set to do back in court on October 4th. Reporting live in Norwood, Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now.